In this video, we will study the relationship between TR, AR and MR when your AR is constant, which means your price in your industry does not change. So we can calculate the total revenue by quantity into price, right? So it is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Then we can calculate the marginal revenue that is 20 minus 10 gives you 10, 30 minus 20 will give you 10, 40 minus 30 will give you 10, 50 minus 40 will give you 10. Now your price is equal to AR this we have proved in the previous video. In this, when your AR is constant, means your price does not change, then AR is equal to MR. Your MR and AR are equal because the factor that you are multiplying is 10. So when you will subtract, you will have a common factor that is 10 only right so AR is it will be equal to MR now let's see this graphically this is revenue you'll take this is output you will take right See, when your output is 0, your revenue will be 0. Let's plot the quantities 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then take the revenues at 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. When your quantity is 1, your total revenue is 10. Then it's 20, your quantity is 2, 30, 3, 40, it is 4, and 50, it is 5. So this is you getting your straight line total revenue curve. Right? This is your total revenue curve. Now let us make your AR and MR on the same curve. Again, make these two uh, graphs parallel to each other. Again, right? So, the, you take 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is your output. This is your revenue. Your AR is 10, your MR is also 10, so you have plotted your AR at 1, 10, 2 units, 10, 3 units, 10, 4 units, 10, 5 units, 10, same with the M, MR, so this is your AR is equal to MR, right? This is your fifth unit and here this is your fifth unit. Till here you have made the graph. So your AR is equal to MR. This is the graphs that will make parallel to each other. And this is the table I've made. I've shown you that what is the relationship between TR, AR and MR when AR is constant. Let's study some more relationships. See, your TR is equal to AR into quantity, your AR is equal to price, so your TR was equal to price into quantity, so you can write it as AR into quantity. Second, your MR is equal to TRN minus TRN minus 1. Your AR is calculated by TR divided by Q. These are the three relationships between them. This is the fourth relationship you can say, right? So, this, uh, let's write down the fifth relationship. 
MR is simply an addition to TR when one more unit of output is sold. What is MR? It is just an addition to TR when one more unit of output is sold. Right? So this is the addition. 10 is the addition again. 10 is the addition. 10 is the addition. So this are your MR. With one more unit of quantity when it is sold. So MR is addition to TR when one more unit of output is sold. Sixth point we have. In case a price is constant, implying AR is constant, then MR should be constant, which means AR is equal to MR. If AR is constant, then MR is constant. Constant MR implies constant addition to TR when an additional unit of output is sold. This implies that TR will increase at a constant rate. See, your TR is increasing at a constant rate. If your AR is equal to MR, your MR will be equal to AR. This will prove that your AR is equal to MR in this. So your TR will increase at constant rate. Right, so this is your relationship between TR, AR, and MR when AR is constant. You can also, um, like CBC, can also modify or mold this question in this way that show the relationship between TR, AR, and MR when the when there are there is perfect market, perfect competition market. So this only you will explain. These are the two forms. This I will explain you how, what is perfect competition market and how AR is equal to MR in the perfect competition market. But they can mold this question this way. So you will have to make this diagram, this tab table and you have to explain this relationship in that question. So I hope you have completely understood this topic. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.